The unmanned drone wars. Can you believe this? Less than 20 years ago, this was nothing more than science fiction. It entertained us on the big screen and countless different, oh, movies, situations have been built upon the idea of drone wars. Well, would appear in this case, this is where science fiction has now become science fact. Recently, in the website nasdaq.com, there was an article there that said, uh, Air Force could test flying aircraft carriers as early as next year. Now, that just seems to be an absolute far-out concept, right? I mean, you think about an aircraft carrier today. It, it's, uh, it's not just a single ship. No, in order to fully support this ship, it takes over a hundred more. So when you think about the idea of modern day warfare, of where you could literally send an aircraft carrier, which is in itself one of the most powerful, well, arsenal weapons any country could have. And the United States has a number of them uh, to be fortunate on that end. So, as we begin to look at this, we begin to see that actually the new wave has been coming in, maybe not with a great deal of fanfare, maybe more stealth, but nevertheless, it is here. Drones are everywhere. If you look at today and you think about what has gone in the last two years, ladies and gentlemen, last two years, where drones were, well, you know, it was something that large companies had or the military. Not any day. Today, the average consumer can have and own a drone. So they are everywhere. The sad thing is, though, particularly for military and soon to be police, they are designed in these applications to kill humans. They're human killers. Yeah. I know we're not trained to think of it like that, but that is, in fact, what it is. And it even gets more scarier when you begin to think that the way that this continues to evolve, there will be no humans needed. And a simple device designed to clean our floors is being converted into machines of death. So this is the idea that you will initially convert a C-130 into a mothership. On the mothership, and they, you know, it's not stealthy, and in there, trust me, they'll develop something that will, uh, how shall we say, fit the bill. So it ejects out hundreds of what you would see as a Roomba. These go out, they drop a payload of up to 60 pounds, and return back to the mothership. No humans have been lost on the side that controls the drones. Now, if you're receiving the package of the drones, that's a different story. And as far as when you think about stealth aircraft, aircraft that, you know, it's been right there in front of us. You know, they, they teach it with the FBI and the Academy, that the best way to hide something is to do it in plain sight. 
And no doubt, 90% of the population really never looks up. And how would they know? How would they know if what is real, what isn't real, what could be, and what is? It's no doubt that other nations have the technology that we have, or at least comparable. We all like to think that the United States is far more advanced than others, but who knows? But the whole idea of launching an aircraft carrier type of weapon against other humans, because it will be the machines that will run this. Now, I thought I'd inject this kind of almost a prelude to a future video coming out. But I wanted to get you orientated, all of us, to understand that this evolution of drones has been an evolution as well of the coexisting technology that we have. In this case, the triangles. They've been here for over a quarter of a century. Now, there have been reports as early as the mid 80s in the Midwest of huge triangle ships that would float by and not make a sound. Well, we're understanding now where that technology was coming from. And no doubt they have the ships. Now, whether they're into a beta testing or whether they're into actual field operations, they're here. And they continue to get more advanced. Folks, we've had the technology and the understanding, whether it be anti-gravity or more importantly, anti-magnetic. The technology has been here and it's been reverse engineered very well. And if you can think that this organization has been around since the 60s, has been responsible for more development, reversed engineered technology than probably any other agency in the United States government. Consider DARPA your venture capital of the military industrial complex machine. Oh, they're doing a great job on us. <laughs> they're rewiring our brains, but this is not what this video is about. No, 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 no. This video is about the coming drone wars and how do you think they really want to turn us into drones? Oh, no, 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 no. But as far as actually converting what the battlefield would look like and how that basically whole process would unfold, it's changing. It's changing to become more robotic every day. Now, this program is called Gr the DARPA's Gremlin Unmanned Aerial Vehicles. Oh, yeah, they're developing this guy, too. So let's talk about how deep this project is going. They have perfected this technology. It's gotten so well that when you look at what they have been able to do with it in miniaturizing it, it has changed everything. You could be being spied on and never even know it. And they have so many different models here. You've got your basic drone, drone, excuse me, the medical support drone, you know, medic, medic. Well, there you go. You've got your observer drone and then your military support drone. Now, this is a drone. And oddly enough, it's a refueling drone. Apparently been well into operations into the battlefield. Well perfected and now part of the new arsenal of the new drone army. 
as I said, it's been very well tested. But here's the disturbing part. We've seen this now evolving over decades, but now the reality is here, that the weaponized drones, both in military and civilian applications, is everywhere and it's not going away. It's becoming so advanced now that they could have weaponized drones over neighborhoods and you'd never know it. Yeah. This is what's becoming the reality. And this new drone force that the United States Air Force already has is going to be out into the field apparently this year. So this is what we've done. The machines, we let them think for us now. Why? Because they can think faster than we can. After all, we created them to be smarter than us. And do we really have anything to fear? There's nothing to fear here. They're only here to help, to help humanity, because they love humanity.